investing books and wisdom all three are interconnected yes and lot of people keep on asking me which are my favorite books that i recommend for my technofunda investing approach where they can learn about core fundamental principles around investing as well as can pick up more around technical analysis which can create alpha for them so i finally thought that i would create an video a small video which will give you the glimpse of all the books uh, which i like because then you don't need to go through lot of books which are out there and some of them i really don't find that good and i by the way keep on reading lot of books so some of the books are like the, it could be a chapter but it's like created as an entire book something is a chapter which could be actually finished in a page so let's get going and i will uh, discuss all the important books which i like and i pretty much uh, would love to read one by one okay so let's get started so the first one which i like is five rules of successful investing and uh, this is written by pat dorsey you can you can see this uh, book over here and it's an amazing book the first part actually deals with lot of examples understanding financial statements how different financial statements are interconnected and i pretty much like the example of a burger which they take to explain this entire concept and the second part where they go sector by sector and uh, give the clues in order to find competitive advantages so first it goes into financial statements competitive advantages and then for each sector what are the different clues that look you should look for as an investor for finding this competitive advantage so very in depth study uh, amazing book written in very simple language the second book which uh, i liked is uh, coffee can investing and a lot of you might have seen that read that uh it's by saurabh mukherjee and uh, what i liked about uh, this particular book is uh, how it has gone deeper into understanding the screening criteria you need for compounding uh, companies and then he has gone deeper into various examples so for screening purposes for at least your core portfolio for long term investing some of the factors he has explained very critical and uh, very nicely explained so this is one of the best books again i like it the third one is uh, value migration so i have again uh, discussed uh, this concept in detail where i have talked about sector analysis and you can check out that video uh, which i have produced you know i have just shared the link over here so you can check out the sector analysis but the idea is that every sector is dynamic you know the world is changing every day every second every moment the the moment even i am speaking right now so not all sector has a, the same value or the same competence uh, for many many years things change so if you can identify that change if on the positive side or on the negative side you can either take advantage by going long or you can exit those sectors if you can know that there is some migration of the dynamics that is happening so this book value migration is a very classic book written by andrian slywotsky if if i am pronouncing correctly but very nicely put uh, the factors and the ways where value migration happens and that will help you to spot these kind of trends which are happening and catch the next big trend right so uh, this is the third book i would recommend and by the way if you if you are liking the videos in my channel please do subscribe and hit that bell button so that you get the notification real time when i'm posting my new video right so the fourth uh, book that is more on the technical analysis side and people uh, keep asking me that you know you blend both technicals and fundamentals how how to understand technical analysis at least from investing point of view so the fourth book is uh, technical analysis of stock trends it is by john maggie this is a wonderful book uh, if you want to learn about how to catch trends and what are the different technical indicators you can use to find those trends the fifth uh, book which i like is uh, capital returns and this is one of the amazing book and uh, 
particularly for shorter period of cycles and longer cycles, if you want to understand what are the key mechanisms which uh, go into these cyclicity. And uh, if you can, uh, you know, predict or even calculate the demand supply scenario and any imbalances which are getting created, uh, this is a wonderful book that will help you evaluate uh, those kind of situation. Okay. So capital returns is the fifth one. And by the way, if, if uh, you want to also understand the Technofunda investing formula, which I use, you know, you can join my upcoming masterclass, uh, which uh, you can find it below the video in the link, or you can just type in technofunda.co slash webinar, and you'll be able to register for it. Right. So do register if you want to go deeper into Technofunda investing formula. So let's come to the books. Now, the sixth uh, book, which uh, I wanted to share is uh, thinking in bets. And this is not more about uh, fundamental investing or technical in investing. It is more around how to think about risk reward, how to think about probabilities. And that will help you to develop that mindset in terms of, uh, you know, riding your profits and cutting your losses, right? This is a cliche, which we keep on hearing. But if you, if you go deeper into probabilities, and if you think about risk reward, uh, this is the starting point. She has uh, beautifully explained uh, some of these concepts and uh, wonderful book. It's by Annie Duke. Seventh book, again, on technical analysis. A uh, wonderful book. Uh, if you are just getting started and you want to just get the hang from scratch, this is one of the most uh, beautiful book uh, I have seen around technical analysis. And it goes deeper under around logic of each and every patterns and how it forms. So this is technical analysis of financial markets by John Murphy. Okay, so This is the seventh book, uh, which I, I pretty much like to read. Now, eighth book is known as the Bulls, Bears and Other Beasts. Uh, again, this is not much around fundamental or technical analysis. But if you are somebody who wants to understand how Indian markets has evolved and what are the different nuances in a fun way, is a wonderful book uh, written by an Indian author. Right? So that is the eighth book, uh, which pretty much I would uh, say uh, worth reading. The ninth book, again, for a long term investors, um, stock for the long run. So this is by Jeremy Siegel. And um, he has beautifully, you know, done various studies and come out with various factors and mechanism in which uh, stocks create wealth in the long run. So if you are somebody who is investing for the long time, and you want to know the secret sauce of uh, long term investing, and how to generate alpha and better returns. This, this is one uh, which you should read. The 10th one is uh, known as the Zurich axioms. And uh, this book pretty much is again, not uh, something on investing, but it is more on how the Swiss uh, bankers use various uh, probabilities to calculate risk and everything. So again, uh, this is something you should definitely read if you are uh, somebody very serious in investing and want to again consider investing from a risk reward point of view, considering probabilities, how, what is success rate, what is the failure rate, and then analyze your company. Uh, again, it will uh, help you in the portfolio construction framework as well uh, in the thought process, how you go about position and position sizing and how you actually uh, approach the portfolio allocation framework, right? So it will, it will give you the basic ground root principles, which you can apply in those areas. So this is again, a wonderful book, right? And I'll, I'll share one more bonus book, uh, apart from the 10 books, uh, which I told you, and uh, all the books, uh, by the way, are, uh, you can find in the link below, or you can just type in technofunda.co slash books, and you'll be able to find. Right. So the final bonus tip, the bonus tip is uh, the book by Gautam Ved, one of my good friend. Uh, he has written Joys of Compounding. Again, amazing book. He has uh, captured the wisdom from a lot many different books from a lot many different people. And um, I found it very fascinating, particularly, you know, the lifelong learning principles, which he has mentioned and uh, different concepts on position sizing. A really wonderful book. So this is the bonus from me, apart from the 10 books, which uh, I recommended. So 
keep reading keep increasing your wisdom and be a lifelong learner thank you for watching see you in the next one